everyone. So it's the final day of CES, and I'm here with Howard from Qualcomm, and we are in a completely decked out Escalade here. So go ahead and just give us a rundown. Okay, so so we we built this Escalade. We we uh, we purchased it, and we uh, we literally ripped it apart and put it back together with uh, Qualcomm chips. So. So what we did here is uh, we did all this to show off the power of, of Qualcomm chips. So what we have is our, our cluster and uh, our infotainment are running on what's called a hypervisor. That's two operating systems on one chip. In addition, we're, uh, we're driving six cameras. So we took off the side view mirrors and they, we put them on, on either end here. And then we also added the, uh, the surround view. So, so, we've, so we've got four cameras, one on each side for the uh, front, back, and sides. And then we've got the two cameras on the ends facing backwards for the uh, side side view mirrors. That's all running on one 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 chip. Uh, the next thing we did is uh, we added a passenger display with uh, it, it's running the same hardware platform but a different configuration. So we're just running Android here. But what we did do is we did tie it into into touch and. and uh, And so uh, you can you can control the uh, the map the way the way you want to see it uh, using our, our touchpad here. Um, we integrated iHeartRadio, so so um, so we can show any station. We also uh, can play videos. So so now none of this is is realistic for a car. Sure. We we did it to show off the the power. But if I want to watch a movie, now I can. And uh, I can also uh, send movies to our rear seat entertainments in the back. Now another thing we have is we have a, a telematics module that is capable of, of gigabit uh, speeds. So that's a 4G LTE uh, category 16 at one gig. What that means is that you can download uh, large files rather fast. So let's say we have this, this this file here and it's about 1.2 uh, gigabytes. So I can download that in about 19 seconds. Okay, so in addition, you know, we, we have our standard stuff where you, you connect to your phone with your contacts in your calendar. But we can also do things like, uh, um, like screen mirroring. So I can mirror the, 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 the contents of my phone to, to any screen, the fronts or even the, the rears. Now I can also uh, do things like uh, cast YouTube. Actually, what's your... Where do I find you guys? I can have solid state tech. Three separate words. Solid state tech. State. Tech. I hope it finds you. It should be the first result. Internet doesn't play nice here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just go with this video. Okay. Right <laughs> All right. So, um, so let's say I'm watching a YouTube video, right? And I want to. Uh, I want to send it to one of my screens. So we've enabled cast on all, all three, but I'm going to put it on the front here. So now I'm casting to the to the front screen, right? And I, I have full control over it from my phone because it's because it's cast. Sure. Okay. So we also have a uh, voice recognition capability. So um, what we can do is we control features of the car. So I can go, hey, Snapdragon, ask my car to open my windows. Opening all windows. So, you know, just some basic functionality. Hey, Snapdragon, ask my car to close my windows. It's a little noisy out there, so. Hey, Snapdragon, ask my car to close my windows. Closing all windows. 
Okay, so we also have uh, echo cancellation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing some music, and I'm going to raise the volume up, and I'm going to ask uh, a question, and uh, it's going to answer me. So here I am playing music, so I'm going to raise the volume. Hey, Snapdragon. What's the weather like in Las Vegas? In Las Vegas, Nevada, it's 59 degrees with clear skies and sun. Today, so you can see uh, we're we're canceling out the, any any noise, right? And so I don't have to lower my volume or or, or disturb people or tell people to be quiet uh, to to issue commands. So we can do things like navigate. We can do um, uh, you know windows, you know just basic controls and navigation and and informational questions. So. Um, Last thing is, uh, we have a street light out there. I don't know if you can pan or... Yeah. Okay, so right now it's about to turn red. So uh, what that means is um, we're, we're getting continuous information up, up through, you wanna pan back, um, through, the, uh, um, through our CV to X module. So it's vehicle to interface. And what it's doing is, is uh, the, the street light, any street light is sending information to any vehicle capable of receiving this and telling me how long it's going to take before it turns green. So three, two, one. Okay, so now we're green. So now, now we're driving. Now uh, go ahead and uh, hit the right, right turn signal. Right turn signal. Yeah. Just lift it up right there. Here we go. So I'm turning right, but the crosswalk is engaged. So it knows this, and it's going to uh, just warn me to be careful that there might be a pedestrian on the road because somebody had to push that button to get the walk to go. Sure. And that, that's pretty much all the features we've got. Cool. Uh, all the power and functionality all running on Snapdragon processors. Interesting. So this, this was purely just to show off what the Snapdragon processor can do, right? Yeah, we, we, we make the chips, and sure. we sell to Tier 1s, Tier 2s, uh, uh, and they build the products. Sure. Has, has anybody, uh, car manufacturers, for example, expressed interest in integrating these technologies into their vehicles? Oh, yeah. In fact, the, the Honda right next to us sure. has our, our chip in there. So, how long until those, uh, do you know how long until those cars hit the market? Cars with the Snapdragon processors? Oh yeah, there are cars out there already. So, we, uh, I'm not, uh, that, that Honda Accord right there is, is commercially available. I see. So, with the traffic light, with the functionality into each street, uh, each street light and all that kind of stuff, um, are there any people, any government officials that have expressed interest in integrating these technologies well, into their cities? Well, this is an upcoming standard, so everybody has an interest in it. Alright everybody, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.